Okay, quiz 10, question one. Let's look at it. Trade discounts of 28% and 12% are applied consecutively to an item that has a list price of $600. What is the price of the item after the discount of 28%? round to the nearest cent. Okay, let's copy that and let's put it into our Word document. Let's leave this for now. So we are at quiz 10, question one. All right, so let's paste and there we are. Okay, so what is the discount after the 20? What is the price of the item after the 28% discount? Okay, so let us go to our formula sheet here. All right, so maybe it would do us better if we have both in view. So let's do that, and there we are. So we have a discount and we want to find the price after the discount. So N, a net price, would indeed be the price after the discount. So we can use this formula or equation. So let us proceed and see how that works. All right, so we have uh, N is equal to L is the list price times one minus D, which is the discount. All right, so maybe we should put N, you know, is the net price, L is the list, and D is the discount. All right, now there is uppercase and lowercase. All right, D is the trade discount rate. So that would be expressed as a percent as the 28 or as an equivalent decimal of 0.28. Okay, let's go down here. So we are interested in finding N. All right, so N is equal to the list price is what? The list price is this $600 right here. So let's go, we put in 600, we put one minus. Now the discount rate is 28%, but we need to enter it as a decimal. So let's go back and put in the 0 0.28. And there we are. Maybe we can just make this a bit larger. We can see it better. And if we do the calculation now, right here, and let's see what it would be equal to. All right, so we go and get the calculator. So uh, let's do this part here. Okay, we could in fact do it a little bit slower and go with the one minus 0.28 and that would give us 0.72. So 0 0.72 and then we could multiply that by 600 and we get a price of 432 or 432. Okay, so let's put that N is equal to, yeah, we could put dollars in there and put 432, and if we wish, we could put in the 0 0.00. But this is indeed the answer. So we will put it in green and we will go back to our question, which is somewhere over. Where is it? OK, let's go to there. Sorry, it was right over here. The question is right here. So the discount, the price of the item 
after the discount of 28% is $432. If you wish, I think we could even put in the dollar sign in the in the answer there. I hope it accepts it. If it doesn't, we'll just take it out. Okay, what is the price of the item after the 12% after the discount of 12%? So let's go back over here. All right, let's go up a little bit maybe and then we can paste. All right, I guess that didn't work. I didn't copy, so let's undo that. And let's come back here and do a proper copy and then we will be all set. All right, so let's come back here and there we are, the discount of 12%. Now, we are doing the same thing except we are, the number now will be different. We'll use the same equation, which is N is equal to L times one minus D, but we will be inserting different numbers. Okay, so N is there. L is now 432. It is no longer 600 or 600. And the discount is one minus, so now it is 12%, so it'll be 0 0.12. Okay, that being done, we could go N is equal to 432 times 0 0.88. I think that will be correct. We can always get the calculator up and go 1 minus 0.12 and indeed it shows us 0.88. Okay, so now we will go and multiply that by 432 and get an answer of 3 zero three eight zero point one six or we can say n is equal to we could actually put the dollar sign in there three eight zero point one six and that indeed would be the answer all right so let's do that and there we are and that is the answer Okay, so let's go back to the question, which is right here. So 380.16, we will submit the answer and see if it's accepted. And yes, it does accept the dollar signs in there. Okay, that is it for this question. And I guess we will stop the recording there we are and we will go and stop the recording